Digital technologies are transforming the world in which we live. Canadian education has the opportunity not only to be a part of this global change, but to lead the way. Right behind me is the DMZ, Ryerson University's Digital Media Zone, a centre for innovation, collaboration and creativity. It's also a place where entrepreneurial students can not only work on their degrees and doctorates, but simultaneously create the digital solutions and businesses of tomorrow. One of the challenges for innovation in Canada is that we don't have a strong culture of innovation. How do you build it? Well, you've got to start at the grassroots and you have to look to where are the innovators and how can we support and encourage them? It's very unique that you have a place that has all of these disciplines working together. And it is that cross-pollination of skills and expertise that really makes the culture of the zone as special as it is. What Ryerson has been able to do is to provide a focal point where people of great knowledge, uh, great ideas, have been able to come together and work together, being sort of the catalyst for each other. Today, more than ever, innovation is important to Canada's economic prosperity. And especially in a digital economy, it's extremely important to promote the ability to innovate in our young people. If we don't innovate, we stagnate. Flybits is a DMZ research team that focuses on artificial intelligence and mobile computing. One area they're exploring is how to process situational information in real time so that mobile users can instantly navigate transit systems in airports. In Paris and Toronto, anxious commuters are finding an easier way to get from A to B. Instead of asking people to search for the information like on Google, we have an intelligence on the internet and in the cloud that understand the intention of the user and will be able to send the information that the user is looking for when they need it. You will see these signage systems at the airport. If you look at it, you don't infer much, but if you point your phone to it, we will be able to tell you where your gate is, how long you need to get to your gate, and the distance to your gate. Our research has contributed to the emergence of a framework that allows anyone to build intelligent mobile applications without writing a lot of code. The role of the DMZ is to help commercialize that research. We are actually making the outcome of the research tangible. One of the great things about the Digital Media Zone at Ryerson University is not only does it bring this collection of creativity together from different backgrounds, but it also allows them to demonstrate, to showcase their inventions as well as the process of thinking that they undertake to new businesses or existing businesses. ARB Labs is breaking new ground in the field of digital immersion technologies. The company is focused on taking advanced research and turning it into commercially viable solutions. Their latest product is a game changer in the world of gesture recognition. All of this is based on advanced level research, cutting edge research right now. What that means is it's uh, things that um, take the most advanced types of maths, sciences, uh, all the different research fields and bring that together into something that we can, that's, that's sustainable today. If you commercialize research, it means that you genuinely want this out there. With this, I graduate already with a successful high-tech company. I've already learned business, the legal aspect of it, uh, protecting my ideas, but being able to license them out internationally, that's what I leave with now. I hit the ground running. The, the whole notion of an entrepreneurial culture, you know, is sort of an existence proof that, you know, if you're in your 20s, in your teens even, you're kind of in the early stages of your career, that it's actually a very desirable thing to go out and try to start a company, which is why the DMZ is so important because, you know, if you're young, you're most likely to be generative of valuable ideas. Sustainability is now in the palm of your hand. Green Gage Mobile's applications enable companies to pursue their sustainability goals through employee education, engagement, and rewards. There's a lot of lessons to learn when you're an entrepreneur for the first time. The great thing about the DMZ is there's a whole bunch of other people that are going through that at the same time, or maybe a little bit ahead of you. I came in here and I, I gave my first presentation and was asked some tough questions, but the questions you need to be asked when you're starting a business. And then was told to um, do a little more business research and come back and do another one, which I did. So through that process, it really helps revise and refine my business plan. It's all about the perseverance that makes an entrepreneur who they are. And this process is kind of that first test. How would we know if we're succeeding, if the digital media zone is succeeding? Well, I'll tell you one obvious measurement the number of enterprises that are started by young innovators that are not only transforming the way we use technology, but they're creating jobs as well. 
Hit Sand's online platform, Soapbox, allows each person to get their idea in front of their community. Users vote, scores are tabulated, and decision makers have instant access to the collective voice of their community. Change can happen immediately. It's an idea whose time has come. So Hit Sand's been around for about a year and a half. We've grown to the point that you know we can sustain ourselves. And what's really neat about it is all my friends are out building their resumes um, and applying for jobs, and I'm not. I have a full-time job. I have a career in front of me. Every once in a while you step back and you're like, I know twice as much as I knew yesterday. Um, and uh, it's actually amazing. You know, my friends are, are working on their resumes and, and optimizing it to get a job interview. And I'm pointing out things that I hate when I read resumes. It is the ability of bringing a number of different talents together in one room to improve the outcomes of any one individual. It's a synergistic effect. It's working together to get more output than you would have by working on your own. So if you have a DMZ-like environment where you've got a lot of different kinds of people with a lot of different kinds of backgrounds thinking in a lot of different kinds of ways, you have a much higher likelihood that interesting new ideas will spark off of that. Publishers constantly see their premium content being used to build communities on other social media sites. Viafora reverses that trend by bringing social media functionality to large news and entertainment websites and mobile platforms. Using the power of conversation and rewards, users stay where the story started. If you want to be successful, you always need to surround yourself with people that are a lot smarter than you. The algorithms that are actually powering our platform, a lot of that has come through working with the faculty members here, working with the postgraduate students. We readily had those resources at our fingertips. We moved into the DMZ approximately seven months ago, and when we originally were pitching the selection committee, we were uh, a team of three. By virtue of the collaboration that's available to us, we're now 16 people, eight full-time, eight part-time. We've gone from approximately three million users uh, when we initially came in, and we're projected to be a 20 million and users before the year is up. By bringing all these people together, giving them the opportunity to build something, create something, invent something, and produce it for the benefit of society, is making them entrepreneurs at a younger age and proving that things can really happen. The possibility of showcasing your work to someone who is an investor, to someone who is running a Fortune 100 company, these opportunities happen every day at the DMZ. Bionic Labs converts user brainwaves into signals which power and move prosthetic devices exactly as the brain intended. For amputees and those in rehabilitation, a better life is only a thought away. There are lots of companies doing medical devices, but most of these corporations are so huge, they lose sight of, can this person actually afford this device? When you have a person in a wheelchair telling you that they can never afford a device that exists to allow them to get out of a wheelchair and walk again, we can make a device for you that gets you out of that wheelchair for one-tenth of the cost. So we're not creating the next cool thing. We're creating something that has a, a huge social impact. The DMZ gave us the infrastructure that we needed and the networking and funding as well as material and computers to start what we had. And because of that, now we have manufacturing people that are manufacturing our legs. We have doctors that are working on their art device. We've had people come to us who have billions of dollars and these people want to talk to us and then we realize this is much bigger than what we ever imagined. That we can lead uh, a company, that we can start something and create something big. Even for 10% of our graduating population, even 10%, if they graduate, in one hand they're going to have their degree, in another hand they're going to have their company. And if they can accelerate kind of moving things towards commercialization and creating jobs and, you know, helping the economy. Well, I think we're in a very strong position as young people to be able to create something new. By DMZ having success stories, people see those success stories. So if you see those success stories, you're gonna, your mindset's gonna change. I can't imagine any alternative to this because of how fun and easy and exciting and just thrilling this whole process is versus the alternatives. You know, I'm leaving one with the degree from the business building, but I'm also leaving with almost like the degree in hard knocks from the DMZ. The DMZ uh, area has really proven uh, that young people can create things way before they graduate to create things and to uh, make uh, improvements to the world that, that we haven't seen before. At the end of the day, that creates better quality jobs for Canadians. And by harnessing the innovative capacity of a nation, we all end up with a better quality of life. 
young people now are working in a realm that has never existed before. We can't think the way we used to, that we knew the answers. I don't think that we do. I think that this space enables the new answers to emerge. This is absolutely essential, and it points towards a transformation in higher education in our country. I'm not saying that digital media zone is the only example or the example that everyone else should copy, but I think the spirit of what actually goes on in this place should be looked at for the insights it can provide in building our genuine culture of innovation in Canada. By helping students transform great ideas into real products, real businesses and real jobs, the DMZ is showing the way to success in today's digital economy. See for yourself how the future could look.